talk about this matchup. It is between yes. Eric Froelich and Zachary Keeney. Goblins versus mm -hmm. God Pharaoh's Gift. Apparently, yeah. this was the fastest round one that we have seen in the tournament so far. In 1 minute 25 seconds, Frolic won it. Keeney fought back in 5 minutes to equalize. And now we are jumping into the decider here in round number 5. Talk us through this so matchup. So I'd like to guess, I, uh, before we get to this matchup, I just want to guess that Muxus was involved in this 1 minute and 30 second game. I, I do not know, but I'm just <laughs> guessing. I'm guessing there wasn't Muxus and much face damage going through. But uh, yeah, let's see how this one goes as we get things kicked off here with Scope Prospector and Priest of the Forgotten Gods on opposite yep. sides of the battlefield. Here comes Goblin Warchief, and we're going to swing on in two points of damage to yep. Zachary Keeney. And looks like we did see an uh, unfortunate mulligan there for Eric Froelich down to five cards. Uh, so you got to like Keeney's chances here, especially with having a really nice hand. And honestly, I know we saw this card uh, in round one when we were casting together, but it's good to see all the uh, old Chooks back, Ravenous Chupacabra back in the <laughs> back in the game. Oh, man, I hated this card when I first started playing Magic because I was like, what? It's a 2-2 two -two and it kills my thing? Why? Why is see, that a I, thing? I loved it. <laughs> I, I played that with Scarab God. I had a great time. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm, I'm sure you did. Scarab God, let's not talk yes. about that. Uh, just yes, so everyone does know, it is Eric Froelich up on top and Zachary Keeney down at the bottom, just in case mm -hmm. anyone is confused as to why the names and the photo are back. Ooh, Plague yes. Mare off the top. Hello. Wow. Plague Mare is, is huge. Yes. But I wonder I wonder I wonder if you want to Chupacabra the Cranko first. Like this uh, is the... Because Cranko gets to activate again. I think you do. Y yes. Oh wait, 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 wait. Never mind. Priest of the Priest Forgotten Gods, right? Yep, that only kills the war chief. But what we yep. can do is sacrifice two creatures, make them sacrifice war chief, and then use the Phyrexian Tower to sacrifice one more creature to play Chupacabra. We get to do it all this turn. Oh man, that's so gross, yes, Corey. That's disgusting. I love it. It is disgusting, <laughs> and it's wonderful. Look at this. Zachary Keeney getting Revenant's Chupacabra out, dealing with Cranko. There goes your battlefield. That Plague Mare was yep. an absolutely clutch draw for Keeney. No. Kidding. And honestly, this right there shows why Phyrexian Tower is in the conversation as most busted cards in this tournament, along with Uro and Muxus. You wouldn't think a land, a legendary land is that powerful, <laughs> but when you do things like that, it's just unreal. It just shows how good the card is when a lot of decks are playing four of it. Think about right. that. Four of a legendary land. <laughs> <laughs> well, that legendary land is going to help get good old Muxus Goblin Grandy out next turn, so Keeney is going to yeah. have to shore up his defenses here and hope like heck he can find something to fend off against Muxus Goblin Grandy. Yeah, Muxus is in the hand and it is castable right now, so I bet we're going to try to do some Fiend Artisan stuff to at least kill Goblin Matron um, to make it not as easy. So Fiend Artisan going oh. for four, finding another Fiend Artisan playing a Crypt, Gra Crypt Breaker. And I fine. believe it's that time. It's time. It's Muxus time. <laughs> Land off the top, able to get Muxus down. Oh, and... Whoa, oh it's so cheap, pins. Oh my Hello. god. Hello. Nice. Yeah, that's that's super nice there. Everyone gets haste. Everyone gets plus two, plus two across the board. And we're going to have to do some blocks here and just get what? a little dead. Yeah, you're a little, little very dead, is Zach Burkini. Eric Froelich picks up the deciding game there in round number five. That was our third feature match for the round and just ending in explosive fashion.